I'm going to show you how to add a word cloud or sometimes called a tag cloud in a PowerPoint presentation using the engage add-in. So first uh, you just want to make sure that you've got the engage tab selected at the top here. And from there, you'll want to select the infographics button. And if you scroll down, you'll notice the word cloud. If you select this and click the insert button, you'll notice a uh, word cloud appear with uh, different uh, words. So the word cloud is uh, a great infographic to um, visually represent the frequency of uh, different words. And so sometimes um, you have words and it's hard to create a chart or a graph or a type of visual to uh, represent um, text values. So uh, word clouds let you do this and it adjusts the size of the word and as well the color of the word based on um, the underlying uh, data values. So I'll show you uh, what, that, what that data looks like uh, for this example. Um, so the other thing you notice is this dialog uh, window up here. And this is what we'll use to update uh, this uh, word cloud. So if you click on the edit data button, just like all the other infographics uh, here, each one is um, linked to an Excel embedded worksheet. So in column A, you see all the words. In column B, you see the value. So uh, in this case, the value might represent the frequency of this, of each word in a um, perhaps a document uh, or perhaps um, the search engine results for a, a particular website like on your intranet, for example. Um, and then column C is uh, a second dimension of data that you can add. Um, and if you wish to have all these words the same color, you don't have to uh, use this. You could just uh, apply the same color, or sorry, rather the same um, number value. So that all apply the same color throughout. Um, but you can um, use this column uh, to visually represent another dimension of data. Uh, so this, for example, might be um, the different uh, bid values on those specific keywords uh, for um, online advertising, uh, for example. So you can show how often people use those words when searching on your internet versus how valuable um, those keywords would cost uh, if you were to use them to advertise online. Um, but like I said, it could be uh, anything. And so as long as you uh, respect the format here, which is of these three columns, you can add as many uh, rows of data um, to represent different, as many words as you like, uh, or as little, um, as few words as you like. Um, but uh, it's easy to update. So if I update this to um, digital world, uh, I can update that. I can update the value from 280 to um, 300. Um, and uh, in terms of the fill value, I can keep it low uh, at nine or I can make it uh, higher. Uh, so I'll make it even higher at 15. And when I'm done um, updating my data, I just close uh, the worksheet and it automatically redraws. So I made digital world uh, bigger and more important, and that's uh, why it's um, it's the uh, biggest size word and the darkest blue as well. Um, so the other options I have here, I can change the color. Uh, so in this case, I'll go back to blue, but I can select any color. I can select the different color for the min value as well. So if I want more contrast between um, the um, higher frequency words and the lower frequency words, or in this case, um, um, the value of the keywords, I can do this. I can add a legend. Um, so in this case, it could be popularity, um, but I think we said uh, cost of keyword, um, but regardless, whatever it is, uh, whatever data you have, you could just um, create a legend for it this way and it'll appear here. Um, and whatever formatting you use in your Excel spreadsheet, if you use uh, numbers or if you use dollars, um, it will uh, show that exact formatting. So if you have a dollar sign in your Excel spreadsheet, it'll show a dollar sign here. 
So I'll just, might as well just go ahead and uh, do that uh, just to show you. Um, so that's the formatting. And then I'll just go ahead and uh, close this. And um, you'll see here the dollar signs appear. Um, the other uh, option you have is you can unclick randomize words and these words will appear in the order in which you place them in the spreadsheet. So if you want a specific word in a specific order, you can do that and you can just sort it the way you would sort any list uh, in Excel. Uh, the other option is to randomize the words. And if for whatever reason, uh, the layout of the words isn't what you like, you can just click this redraw cloud button and I'll redraw it uh, randomly until uh, you get uh, the look that you're looking for. Um, the other option is you can change the font size. So I can make the maximum font size a little bit bigger. And um, I'll also increase the minimum font size as well. Uh, I'll make that a little bit bigger as well. Um, and so once I'm done, I can go ahead and close this window. And uh, the other thing I can do is um, I can click on the Smart Grid button and what I'll do is I'll just align this to the first column and uh, I'll make this a bit wider because I have a bit of room. I can go uh, all the way up to the 10th column. So what I'll do is I'll just uh, under size width, I'll make this a uh, 10 column wide um, word cloud and that's word cloud.